so many things that are not explainable scientifically. Okay, and uh, when we started the College of Magic, we started with 34 students in February 1980. We certainly didn't believe it was going to turn into, into this some um, 27 years later. I was very passionate about teaching magic to young people. We realized the incredible power of magic to transform and to empower young people. We need a, a little magic hat. <laughs> There we go, and it will make a lovely prize. Huh? And go down as low as you can, but still remember the balloon is pulling you up. Go down, get heavier and heavier, but the balloon is lighter. And we all say the magic word. And we all say the magic word. I think the greatest teacher is experience and um, getting out there and starting to perform is a wonderful way to develop. There's a stage competition in Las Vegas and therefore contestants this evening who are the most hopeful will be in the stage category. Without further ado, I'd like you to please place your hands together for our first contestant of the evening, Umfundo Somdiala. Junior stage champion Leslie Seitzacheco.
Now, I hear you that you, you didn't invite your mother tonight. It's because I was very nervous. I told her to stay at home. Because when I, if I, she was here, I would be very nervous and I think I was going to make uh, very big mistakes. Thanks very much and welcome. It's a very, it's a very, very exciting occasion we uh, gathered here for today because we're all uh, getting ready and getting excited about the pending journey to Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. Three of the uh, team have been preparing for the stage competition. The first performance we will see this afternoon is going to be Leslie, and the second performance is going to be Lanesri and Mafundu. We've got a team, of, a team of eight of us going across two to Las Vegas, so uh, we've got two uh, very ambitious acts, but they're very exciting acts, and I know that you're going to enjoy them this afternoon. What's wonderful about the outing to Las Vegas is that it's, it's multifold. Our young people get to attend, first of all, a teenage seminar, and they spend three days with teenage magicians from around the world, sharing uh, secrets and learning from the professionals. And during the World Magic Seminar, their competition takes place, their teenage competition, and they get an opportunity then to show their magic, not just to their, uh, to their friends, but to, in fact, all the magicians from around the world. Those who did the box last week, you remain in the center, the others stand on the outside, Bounce it. Bounce it across to each other. My name is Fundu Sumjana. I've been coming to the school for five years. I started in 2002 when my uncle used to teach at the College of Magic. And the first class of mine was the best because then we got the magic ones. Illusions and big chicks that are done on stage. That's the best thing I like. I want to do like big stuff like when the people are amazed and you get to entertain a large number of people sitting everywhere in front of you, the sides where you can do a big show for the whole family. I think you're going to be very excited by what you see here today. Are we all systems go? My name is Sinestri Faber. I'm from Lansdowne and I'm 15 years old. I came to the College of Magic after my dad had seen the place and been interested. My dad absolutely loves magic. What I enjoy is the background. How, how is the uh, magic done? What are the dynamics behind it? What are the physical constraints? And for me to work that out, that's just a great part. He gets a bit annoyed at me though because we have this whole thing of secrecy. So you're not allowed to tell the chicks. It's great watching her. It's, it's almost an extension of me, if you want to put it that way. The team, as you can see, we're on to the city of gold, Kegoli. Let's welcome Leslie Setsapenko! My name is Leslie Setsapenko. I live in Mandalay, attend Rhodes High School, and I'm currently in grade 9. As I say, you sort of want the magic yeah. wand ahead of you and at table height so that you move the um, the cloth away as you picking up the wand. I yeah. think I am going to make it big in magic and because I've got a bright future in magic. At school they told us it's a dark place, like scary places and when we went there it was fine and everything was fine and we asked if we if we could join the college of Saviors. Should I switch it up? Okay. Leslie, wake up. I'm Leslie's mom, Edith. 
I am a single parent of three kids. Leslie is the second kid. He passed on last year, but we were never married. Yes. I'm a teacher at Matthew Goniwe Memorial High School in Kailicha. I originate in Nyanga. It's been long now. Uh, he is now in high school, he's now in grade 10, and I think he started in primary school uh, attending the college. You know, he entertains us a lot. We laugh sometimes, sometimes we are amazed. How did you do this? You know, we ask all those sorts of questions. Man, I was so surprised because I asked him, what is all this? He said, I'm number one, I'm the champion. You know, he was excited about it. I was very happy for him, very happy. I was not at the championship because he stopped me. He said, I mustn't come. He said, uh, he's gonna be nervous. But when he's on stage, that shyness goes away, you know. Uh, because he does something that he likes very much. Mm. He likes magic very much. Next time I will be there. I will be there. In Las Vegas, I know that he's going to do his best, as he usually does. Mm. Jennifer, Mr. the bus, I have got you to take the My role model is my mother. That's the person that I think is the one and only person I want to be like in the world. I get up early at quarter to five. I prepare myself. I prepare whatever that he has to take to school because if I didn't do that, sometimes he messes it. And then I must be out of the house by 22, six. She's raising me as a single parent and she works in Postmore Prison here in Cape Town. And during the week, she wakes up at five o'clock and I wake up usually about 20 past five. Firstly and foremost, I like the character that he is. He's a very welcoming young man, although sometimes he can be very mischievous, like any other teenager. And he's very welcoming towards other kids, although he's the one and only child that I have, is, the house is always full. My dad is living in Eastern Cape. He's a police officer there. I wasn't quite interested in him because I never actually like wondered where could my dad be or some stuff like that. Because here was my mother giving me everything I needed and I didn't ask her about anything about dads or anything. Because nothing worried me about that time about having a father or not having a father. Abanda. If it was according to him, you will never want to see me working in prison. Every morning she prays before she leaves so that she could come back home. And we phone each other maybe, because now during this week I've been practicing, she phones me and tells me, she asks me, am I fine or what happened during the day or am I struggling with anything? Then just tell her what's wrong, what's not going on. You can never be safe 100% because anything at any time can happen. You give a man a plate of food, of food, with food and a spoon to eat, the man changes the plate to be a weapon to stab you. During this week there was a word stab and the person that got stabbed was working right behind her. He sees me when I come home with a long face. Although sometimes I try to hide, not for him to know all these things. He appreciates every minute that I'm with him because he knows the conditions that we work under. Because I won't see myself being stuck working in prison for the rest of my life. I'd have to look after my mother when she needs something. I'll do it for her. Or when I, like now, she's teaching me how to cook and do everything in the house. Now I, I can cook. Uh, certain things but I'm, I won't say I'm quite perfect. She comes late from work and then she's feeling tired then she goes to bed and I have to sweep here at the house and look that everything's quite neat and tidy. I'm <laughs> going
When he goes to school now, he catches the train because that is the most convenient transport for him to from home to school. It usually takes me about an hour to come here. It's because of the traffic and everything. Do you worry about traveling at night? Yes, very much because it's dangerous. I'm sitting here next to you. Then maybe you pickpocket me when I'm sitting here and I maybe don't feel it all. And I still want to Music originates from a particular culture in, in the Western Cape historically. When uh, the slaves then, the only time that they could come out and have a jolly merry time was on Saturdays, where they practice amongst one another. And the only time of the year in which they could walk the streets of Cape Town without being slaves was on New Year's Day. When all the music that they've been practicing this particular year for the past year, that music is being played. We've seen remarkable developments as far as young people go on a number of different levels. In South Africa, we've gone through enormous change over the past 27 years. And it's been a, it's in fact been a wonderful period, and it's been a wonderful period for the college to, to be playing a role in. When we opened our doors, we opened up to people from, from all cultures. And in 1980 in South Africa, that was something very special. South Africa was in, in the very dark era of the apartheid regime um, and we were very passionate about our country and we realized that there was a need to educate the young people of South Africa if transformation was really going to take place here. Twist it this way so that the long end is going towards the wall that side. 
from the beginning, we had these mixtures of people all around this common interest of magic reflecting and mirroring the true South Africa. I started to get it politically involved uh, at university. I wanted to make a change. We went on marches and during that time I got arrested. I went through some very, very bad experience with the South African police services. Up until then, the police were there to protect you and suddenly they were really the, the forearm of the government at the time. I had had parts of my body where they used equipment on it, drilled into it to try and extract information. And what they would do is they would hold you for a while and then release you and then come back a few weeks later and hold you again and over a six year period you were in and out. To be arrested, to go through some of the torture was an eye-opening experience. And when uh, it got to 1990, when former President Mandela was released, it was a massive change. I mean, that was like, you know, magic to us. What you see at this college is, is really just a window of what's happening to the rest of the country. And I don't think it's going to stop. It's a great place to live in. I wouldn't change it for anything. <laughs> Everyone knowing that I'm going to America and all that, so that's, I don't like it. Fundo, he is a very kind boy. He's nice, nice. Yeah, he's cool. Um, he's a good guy, you know. He has got many friends. You will always see him around him. There are always many kids. If you have got a talent, you must use it so that it can put you in a brighter future. We have a tremendous tradition of witchcraft, songomas, the occult, and so forth. You would find members of the public who were concerned about magic, first of all, for, uh, for reasons that perhaps Perhaps there was a more dark, sinister way that we were performing our magic effects. At school there were like people saying that at the college they turn people into pigs. They may look at it and say, no, this is something that's evil. This is something perhaps it's the work of the devil because that's the only place that such power could be coming from. And I'll say no, but it's a uh, secret, you could learn it, go to your local library, get a magic book, learn how to do the magic tricks. And they say, oh no, no, we know that there's some, so you've got some very secret special power. When I was traveling from a bus and the boy asked me if I could do magic, I showed him a trick and he was amazed and he called his mother to come see. And his mother called, I went to his mother to do the trick and, she's, and she said she doesn't want me near her child. I must get away because I'm a witch. And she was going on that. My mother needs to pray for me and the people in the bus must pray that I mustn't do this evil stuff because it's not right. At first I was totally against the whole thing, magic or whatever. Then he explained to me, I listened to him. He lent me that it's just playing with one's mind. It's just a real magic tricks.
so maybe that that concept that wow this is not good is coming from that mindset from the community that we we were up, we brought up that when something is sneaky or funny it's associated with witchcraft how youngsters are approached by people their own age or in their in their townships to turn the stones into coins or to make money and uh, when they're unable to do so they are physically harmed i don't like uh, telling people about magic because they, like every time i pass by they want money like yes like uh, can you make some money for us they'll be amazed but then at the very same time they'll want to like i don't know what they'll try to do to me because they'll be seeing that as witchcraft my name's joe uh, I'm a local boy around this part, and uh, we're in the middle of Kuguletu, a township in Cape Town. Uh, these people have a gift of being able to communicate with the ancestors. Ancestors have their own way of choosing who they are going to anoint. So if it's, it's, it's hereditary to most of our black clans to have someone in every family who is more of a seer than the rest. And they talk to you. You can hear them talking to you. Then they say, no. Don't worry, we, look, we are looking after you. Then you relax, because they are going to do the work for you. Are you with me? Some people go through, through hell to accept this. And some actually go bananas because they will not accept this. There is a medium through which you go to that higher being. And if you, like us, believe in your ancestors, it's like believing in, in the spirits. Because the people die, but the spirits linger on. Um, you know, the magic that she does involves a lot of skill. I do believe that there is the divine element that guides her through everything that she does. I think if you really love something and you, it becomes a part of you, um, the divine is there to actually help you and it, it all becomes a very integrated whole. The real magic that we're talking about in our particular circumstance of, the, of our organization is the joy, the happiness it brings to the people that we're showing the magic to and the incredible number of benefits it brings to the person who's actually presenting the magic. And that's the real magic. The real magic is the emotion that is created okay. through the performance. The first, the, the first card. And now my other also friends also want to come and join. Because now they're seeing that if he could do it, why don't they all come and join, join the College of Magic? We're not sitting at home or doing nothing. We have something to do to like motivate us in life. When I was young, I was a shy person, a very shy person. Yeah. So uh, I changed my life a, a lot. I became confident about myself. We have probably had more than 1,300 students over the years that have uh, been through our doors. We've probably got a couple of dozen who are professional magicians who are earning their living through their art. We've got those who have become stand-up comedians. We've got some who have gone into puppetry, ventriloquism. And of course, many are working in the production or creative side in the entertainment industry. Empty box here. I'm going to close it. I'm going to wave my fingers over it. And I'm going to open it and it's got my keys in it. But I think more significantly, we've equipped and empowered a lot of young people to enter uh, businesses and career paths in South Africa uh, with the skills which we've nurtured at the college. Uh, for instance, like communication skills an incredibly uh, vital skill in the new South Africa with the 
multiplicity of languages that we have. We've had many, many young people land up uh, as doctors, dentists, as teachers, lawyers. They've gone into a number of different, uh, different fields. We try and stay in contact with our graduates and we have a number of our graduates who network with each other and uh, who are helping each other in their careers. Right. I think Craig has got something for each of you which you're going to need. Very important piece of information, itinerary and travel tickets. We've got all the information that you possibly need to keep you. We've got a Linusri, we've got a Fundu. And I want for David as well. Wow, I'm going as well. Hey! We meet in at uh, Cape Town. Domestic departures at 11 a.m., bright and breezy. The flight's at 12.45. My grandma said that I have a good journey and that God praise for the cause of the, and the traveling things we're taking to be going fine and everything that you'll do when you get there is good and nothing bad could happen or anything then come back and have a safe journey. The jacket can go with his, his hand, with his clothing. This was a, a spot or a game or an entertainment for a, a, a certain group. But now we are mingling and they are getting an opportunity that they themselves never thought of. This is not just an opportunity for them, it's, it's, it's an opportunity even for the other kids you know, that are from the disadvantaged uh, areas. I want to know, you make it out. Yeah. No, you yeah. have yeah. all the time now, you must know. Oh, you do it. 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 Hi, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Well and excited. Yeah. 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 All of you want to grab your luggage, we're now going to go have fun with the chicken people. Las Vegas is the capital of magic uh, worldwide and it's a lifetime experience to be able to travel all the way from Africa over here and to experience it, to share it with them, this absolute, um, almost a ghast of, of what actually exists and what's possible. Uh, that to them uh, is, is something which dreams are made of. I am dreaming to see some, something that, like this because before we never do something like that. And before, we are so different from the world. Because I'm a black from South African. But today, I'm between the European people. But before, we never go together with white people. Even next to me is a white man. That before, we never do that. That's why I don't know what to do, to say because I'm just look like I'm dreaming because I'm a low person, low down person. But today, I'm so proud of this, what happening today for my grandson. I'm so proud. I will never forget this day. I will always remember until I die. Thank you. Uh.
I feel the morning sun creep up my face I feel the warmth of your embrace And your love rushing through my veins Looks like it's gonna be another day in paradise I was saving all my tears for a rainy day But I gave them all away I'm saying too many stones round here Since I found you, my eyes are clear It's paradise Guys, how you doing? Hey. Welcome. Welcome. How long was your flight? Thirty-eight hours. Thirty-eight hours. Wow. Did you practice the whole way? So watch where the camera is. Come straight back. If you squeeze, it goes very slow. It looks like it goes away. It's not on your shoulder, is it? The other one? Perhaps down by your pocket. Is this it? No. Check the bottom of your pocket. It's not this one, is it? I think we got the Queen of Diamonds back at least. That's good. I think those are from your deck. Put that back in your pocket. I'm sorry about that. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure meeting you. Congratulations. It was nice meeting all of you as well. One more time. Look down between the fingers. Not up the sleeves. Just two. Two. Two and two. Yeah, when I rub. That makes sense. Let's this one. Before we left South Africa, the team got together and something we established right from the beginning in talking and chatting to the youngsters was that this was going to be a team effort and that the performances, although we're only seeing Leslie, Lenezri and Mufundu on stage, what was presented here in Las Vegas in fact is the product of the entire team and I think that they fully understand this and they very are very committed to it and I think that the entire team is going to be very, very proud. I think all three of our performers certainly realize the enormity of the, uh, the, and the importance of their performance here in Las Vegas. The importance for themselves, for the College of Magic, and for the community back in Cape Town, South Africa. I'm too confident that we're going to win, but I mustn't be that confident, but I'm just going to show them what I've got. Are you all nice and smart? It's the way, let's go. Let's go do it. They love performing, they love being on stage and I'm very very confident that they're going to do extremely well and they'll fly the South African flag really high and we'll really do some fantastic magic here. From Cape Town, South Africa, Lenesri, Tabor and Mafundo Zoom Yala.
great job. Very nice. It's such a rush from being on the I'm so trying to calm down. <laughs> they were brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I know for me, if I could have make it the next round, this was so fun. You're welcome to make it to the next round, I'm sure. <laughs> Enjoy themselves, that's fine. Even if you don't make it, just if you enjoy it, it's fine. Oh, yes, I'm coming. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> okay. Hey guys, how you doing? Nice to meet you guys. Looking good, guys. Looking good. How are you? And some babes too. All right. Thank you very much. How are you? You guys do magic too? Yeah. Rock on. Rock on. So did you have fun? Yeah. That was awesome. Excellent. Thank show. you very much. You seen all the magic shows in town? It will only happen like once in a lifetime. And I proof of it over here that I actually native. Yes. So look what it looks like. That's David Coverfield, yeah. We're good. One more. Last <laughs> one. Last one. Last one. Yeah. The solution here is um, fire change. So you start with fire and a red rose appears, and then the red rose turns into a long ribbon. You know that? Well done. 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 Well Good morning and welcome to the 30th World Magic Seminar Team Competition Final. This is one of the greatest close up overall conventions with people coming from all, all over the world. I think you have to agree.
Germany, which I believe is the biggest international contingent we've ever had here. The most, the most important thing to me about being a team, being in a contest, is, is meeting the other magicians and becoming friends with them. Third place goes to Kristen Lambert, ladies and gentlemen. The second place of the world goes to Sterling Dietz, ladies and gentlemen. Goes to Shana Reed, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, I'm very happy that I did my best. Yes, it's fine. Just did my best and tried. <laughs> I'm very excited. We just met Siegfried and Roy. It's like a dream come true. I've been wanting to see them for a very long time. And today it happened to me. The magic is real. It's my dream come true. Yeah. Their journey is opening up horizons for them, something which is incredibly important for the young people of South Africa to be able to see, to give them hope for the future, to give them that, that confidence that there's something much bigger and brighter that lies out there and that they can strive for that. And they're going to take that message back to the entire community from which they are drawn. And that is such a positive input for building the community in South Africa, giving that hope for the future, giving that sense of that we can do it, we can uh, be better than what we've got. They are children of the new generation. They were born in the new South Africa. And the new South Africa is very important to us. They're untainted by apartheid and the history in our country and so they come with tremendous uh, zest for the future. For me magic is like making the impossible possible. It has made a, lo a lot of things for me. It's like taking me to America and like making me go on a plane for, for the first time and then going to, to Vegas for the first time and so it's, it's a really something that will change my life and I, I really appreciate like, what magic has done to my life. The way I think now of magic is not something like, like that's to make me rich or anything. It's to make people happy and entertain people. My name is Fundo and you are at my home. Welcome. My name's Joe. Uh, I'm a local boy around these parts. It's great watching her. It's, it's almost an extension of me, if you want to put it that way. Yes. 
too hard to breathe There's nothing left but tears for you to cry That bring you to your knees Take me as I am Because it was Doesn't mean it will be anymore Every day's a chance to turn around Better than before Take me as I am No need for words Just reach out to me I'll stop the world and make it go It's really meant to be 